So, look what I got in the mail. Now that is my official ballot, also known as the thing I'm gonna use to vote in the upcoming elections. So while I'm busy opening it, let me tell you what I'm going to do today. The federal government hasn't done too hot of a job this year, and the first presidential debate is a little depressing, so I've decided to focus my attention on local elections. Left to my own bearings, I am way too lazy to do all the research necessary to vote responsibly, so I am motivating myself to do so by forcing myself to write a song about it. That's right. Today, I will be researching every proposition and every candidate, and then I will write a song conveying all the information to you. Basically, a voter guide in song form. Day 13 of writing 15 songs in 15 days. With that being said, I got to work researching. There were so many basic things I did not know, like California has its own House of Representatives, and that the Federal House of Representatives has the sole power to impeach the president, and they did in fact impeach Donald Trump in 2008. 19, but they were just voted against by the Senate. And I didn't actually need to do any of this research because there are loads of different politically leaning voter guides online that have already done all the research for you. But I found that out after I did all the research. Anyway. So it's 2 p.m. I've spent the whole first part of the day researching, but to give myself a little bit of a reprieve, I'm now gonna work on the track. As usual, even though I had no time, I had grand aspirations for the track. Fresh Prince of Bel Air, New Orleans bounce, and twerk and politics. Doesn't it kind of go together, guys? I laid down the bass, a swing drum beat like the Prince of Bel Air, some twerk claps, some New Orleans bounce trumpet stabs, and at least the instrumental was done. I then went back to my research for a few hours, and finally, with all the information stored in my head, I laid down the vocals. Now, I will preface the song by saying these are only my own opinions. Feel free to challenge them in the comments section and to also share helpful information. Ultimately, I hope this song motivates you to come to your own conclusions and most importantly, to vote. Well, everyone is sitting focused on the president. Trump. Locally is where the real change happens. Yeah. Lots of candidates, measures to choose from. So I thought that I would go over the notable ones. So I would state measures like Measure J. J. It's the government's answer to the BLA. And Measure 21 expands rent control So more people here can afford the homes And if you like affirmative action Try Measure 16, that's the what fun And if you like mass incarceration Measure 20 keeps more peeps in prison Over, lift, pay for it Measure 22 gives the drivers shit And after some finish their prison road Measure 17 gives them a right to vote Get your ink on the ballot, yeah, yeah Get your voice heard and vote now, yeah, yeah Get your ink on the ballot, yeah, yeah Get your voice heard and vote now, yeah, yeah Funded by the PO and George Gascon would end the death row. Yeah. And in our Congress, we got Karen Bass. Woo. Done a great job leading the Black Caucus. And I went on her opponent Weber's Twitter. Don't go there. It's a bit scary, I will go with her. And there's another her. Assembly She's woman. called Cindy Kamla Gur. And her opponent's quite alright, but she likes to beef tweet with the governor. Now don't listen to what I say. Do your own research and use your brain. Yeah. It don't matter who you want, what you chose Long as you get your ballot in, cast your vote Get your ink on the ballot, yeah, yeah. 